Hey you guys, welcome back to another video of Bell Collective. Let's get into it. The reunion part two. 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 two, two. We keep it real. Hey, what's up, Corey fan? Welcome back to another video, Courtney and I'm it, aka Dub. This is my lovely wife with the hiccups. Courtney, also known as Coco. That's right, baby. Known as Coco. That's right. And this here is Courtney and Eddie. This channel is all about relationships, it's all about reviews, it's all about the entertainment. And tonight, 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 we're going to be talking about Bell Collectors uh, Reunion Part 2. Part <clears throat> Deuces. So if this is your first time joining and you hadn't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're watching us on Facebook, I'm sorry, you're not. Um, then make sure you hit like and follow on all social media sites. Comment down below. Don't forget that we do have a Patreon. So um, this is the Bell Collecti Collective Reunion Part 2. This is the last one for the season. It was like, what, 10, 11 episodes or something like that? They have a short season. So I don't know if it's going to always be like that. Carlos just posted that they got... Uh, they got renewed for the new for the next season so you know when it's the next season though uh, like yeah, two months from now i don't know so anyway but yeah let's go ahead and get into it it wasn't a whole whole lot but yeah, actually it wasn't yeah it wasn't but we did get the answer that everybody wanted to know who is the pappy all right so it went like this glenn you are you are not the father. What? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so Glenn is not the pappy, honey. He is not the pappy. Not so the pappy. um Carlos gave him the thing and you know said that you know he wasn't and he updated to see I told you I to Calm down, baby, because if you never would have had your little wee wee somewhere else, it shouldn't have been. We wouldn't have never be sitting on national TV up there talking about you as not the father. I totally agree. Totally agree. Oh, uh, foolishness. I guess after he found out he wasn't the father, uh, you know, with Letitia, right? You know, she was happy. And he kept saying, you know, he was telling her that he's going to do better. He's going to be the man he should be. He wanted his family back and whatnot. But I'm saying to myself, did you not say that to her once before? Uh, yeah. And you was inboxing women and women showing you that, what, triple H's? Whatever. Yeah, so. Yeah, it, it's crazy to me because, you know, um, you embarrassed your wife on national TV. You had to do this on national TV. I don't know if you had to, the DNA part, but y'all chose to. <laughs> and to do all of this and... It's just, it's, 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 it's nonsense. It, it was too much. It, it really was. It really was. You know what I'm saying? This is not Maury Povich. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of them people on there be single, honey, and be sitting up there with everybody. But this is your wife that you've been, what, 17 years? Yeah, about 17. Yeah, they've been better. together. Yeah, you you know, or since school. they were 17 or something yeah, like that. But they've been, yeah, they've been together for a long time. So, anyway. Whatever, child. Whatever, honey. You'll still be inboxing somebody because then they say that the last mm. time he didn't talk about that. Oh, he did. He did. He, he did, did the first about. episode. Sorry. Actually, did. to be honest with you, I think this reunion could use one episode. Uh, this, oh yeah, this, for this, sure. This this episode tonight, rather than other than the DNA test, it really didn't you know nah, tell anything. Not really. So let's move on to um. Well, Letitia was crying and everything, and um. And Carlos said, said something to me that was powerful or, you know, he kind of just gave a little bit of himself. He was saying, you know, it's unfair for a woman to have to go through stuff like this. When a guy is, when they get successful, when they get popular or when they get, you know what I'm saying, where they in a, you know, higher status and stuff, then it seems like when the woman trying to find out who she is, she has to sometimes suppress who she is because it may affect the man as far as, you know, she thinking that, 
Okay. Uh, I, if I'm trying to live my best life or trying to just be a business and do better in life, then I, what well, my man may be, he may, somebody may be in his inbox or, or somebody may be capping for him or something like that. So it's hard for when he said, it's just not fair. He said he's seen women go through this in his family. And I agree with that. Yeah. The way I look at it, if the woman know how to balance her business and her career with her personal life, I don't see an issue with a woman trying to break that glass ceiling. Yeah. I, I really don't see an issue with that. But some guys, they feel threatened by it. You know what I'm saying? And then, too, a man should learn how to balance his family as well as business uh, as well. It, it goes both ways. But it seems like it's a woman's role to take care of the house, the children, the grocery, to cook, to do all that stuff, clean, and all that stuff. Well, a man just go out there and... Hey, but if you got two people that's providing income in the household, it ain't just about the man. Right, and it shouldn't be. But yeah. like I said, you know, it go it, it goes both ways. A woman should know how to balance so, so should a man. Yeah. But how you think with society, a man think thinks in his head that we got to go out there and work, we got to go out there, you know, earn a living, we got to go out there and put a roof over our family's head and that should be good enough you know what i'm saying but it's not good enough. you know what i'm saying yeah you got to obey you know be able to do that and take care of home and spend some quality time with your wife make your wife feel special or not and vice versa a lot of women they get there you know get into the corporate world they forget to have a man they get out there they trying their best to strive trying to stay on top trying to get to the top and sometimes they lose their focus on trying to keep a balanced life. And that's why you see a lot of successful women single. All right. So let's move on. So they show clips of the guys, you know. So the guys had their part on this season. And I enjoyed it. I really did. I enjoyed the different dynamics. I enjoyed this, the Southern talk. I enjoyed the bougie which is uh, Willie. I think that's his name. I don't think Willie is bougie. Well, I mean, he's not from Mississippi, so yeah, his, you know, yeah. the way he look at it is he look yeah. at it through different eyes. Yeah, he's from <laughs> up north. He's from New York. He's like a uh, culture shock to him. He probably said, hey, what they saying? Who they talking about? What kind of language is this? What kind of world I'm in? Am I alive? Am I breathing? What is this? So he's not used to all this country, Mississippi southern talk. You know what I'm saying? You know, then you go down to New Orleans, they got their own little slang. You know what I'm saying? You go to Alabama, they got their little slang. You know what I'm saying? Then you got to Georgia. All right. Go. You finna go through the whole states. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Man, there you go. Yeah. So the question was, Carlos wanted to know, listen, the rumor is, Cliff, that you slept with JJ X. And this was like a hush up. Cliff was looking like he watched football. So Glenn was up there saying, he Glenn said something that was funny or something like that or whatever. Oh, Glenn said that she had no ring on, you know, something like that. So, you know, so Carlos was like, is it true? He, he said, said, well, yeah. he, he well, did. no, what he said? He said, no, we ain't sleep. We was no, woke. He, did, he didn't say, no, we didn't. No, he, he said, said we was woke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He we was awake. Yeah. And Carlos had to kind of backtrack and say, okay, let me rephrase this again. Did y'all had did y'all have sexual relations with one another? He said, yeah, we did. And I think Willie said something, dang, you know. And No, uh, Carlos said, see, Willie, you right. Mississippi is so small because everybody's sleeping with everybody, man. Now, then something else came up. No, that wasn't that. It was what uh, was Latrice said, something about. It, it, it was something that was said about Latrice being so young, and no, no, Cliff was like, right. um, Cliff was like, yeah, somebody said she wasn't even born yet. Cliff said, no, nah, she was running there playing with the toys right. and stuff like that, so she was that age. She was little. Did yeah. you want to say something else? All right, so they move on, and let's talk about this elephant in the room, the mind, and this event planner. So... Um, Tamara just said basically it wasn't true and she breaks it down and everything. But Carlos did ask the man, did you sleep with a no? The man, did you kiss a no? The man, did you have a relationship with a no? So he was answering all that. You had he, well, yeah, he when Carlos asked him about him kissing her, the man didn't answer. He didn't answer that part. Mm -hmm. He didn't answer that part. Oh, okay. He answered everything else, no, but when Carlos asked him that, 
He didn't, he didn't say anything. anything. Um, so I didn't. I, me personally, I paid attention to Demond's body language, and it, I was. You, you, still, you still don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Now. I just don't believe it. But Tamara, she believes. She, him. baby, she will fight, honey. Her last fight for that. And she said the woman. The only reason why she said because the woman's trying to get a storyline. She was trying to get on the show last year, and you know and that's why. You know, she 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 needed something, so the mom was the easy target target that was storyline with, and I, I like to say I don't buy that. Now let's uh, let uh, let's be honest. What they say, um, like bad stories or rumors, they sell and people believe them more than the truth. I do get that, but it's just like the mom's body language through it all, and the mom was like, you know, I really and truly wasn't finna say a lot about it because I knew it wasn't true, and plus I'm not finna disrespect no woman by going all in. But he was like, that's why I was just kind of quiet about the whole thing because Tam Tambro was like she was taken back. Did y'all notice y'all didn't hear none of that? And it was on, I, and, we hear none of that. She was like, Demond didn't do any of that. I don't believe that. She was talking that regular talk, honey. Did you uh, notice yeah, that? Yeah, I noticed that. I really had didn't hear that voice in both episodes of the reunion. I didn't hear oh, her yeah, voice. You know sure. what I'm saying? She had a regular, you know, I'm from around the way voice. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying? And you better not mess right. with my man, that type of thing. So, yeah, she was going to bat for, and um, she was saying, yeah, that she heard that <clears throat> she was trying to get on the show. Actually, she contacted one of the producers and said that she got some tea on everybody on that stage or everybody that's a part of the show, and she can spill it. And what is um uh, Leticia said that is – who um Glenn is a Glenn? Glenn, that's what I was trying to get at. The event planner is Glenn ex sister in law. Mm -hmm. She used to be married to Glenn brother, and that's when Carl said, "Man, this city is small, ain't it, Willie? Really? You know what I'm saying?" I said, yeah, sure, sound like especially Jackson, Mississippi. Yep. And Carlos said, "Well, you know, sometimes people think that we." The ones that come up with this stuff, but you sometimes you have people that will say anything to try to get upon uh, on the show. In fact, she decorated the whole studio mm. um, last season for the uh, reunion. So anyway, I was like, is she the only event planner in town? This is this is, <laughs> this is Jackson, Mississippi. I now. mean, but still, it ain't Mayberry. My goodness, is she the only one? Is it though? <laughs> I don't is think it? it's. I've never been to Jackson. I've so. I've been to Jackson before. I'm quite sure it's bigger than that. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, um, so let's move on to the next scene. Um, Tamara and Damon, <clears throat> boring. They are living together, and um, they're still trying to have a baby. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, that's basically that's all that's going on with them. Yeah. Um, uh, and then Carla did throw a little shade and say something, you know, well, because she was saying, yeah, that they are having unprotected sex so that, you know, they could follow the doctor's order. And he was like, well, unless you be like the Pearson, honey. Like that, that was, I well, he was that. talking about having a baby because he was having a baby with somebody else, you know. Who? But the, the Pearson, um, Glenn was caught. You know, oh, 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 oh and stuff like that. that. Um, so anyway, so they showed clips of Aikisha and Willie in their season, and basically Willie said that, you know, um, it's still a little uncomfortable for him being in Jackson, Mississippi, especially being from what, New Jersey, New, New York, York, somewhere yeah. like that. Um, but you know, he said it's kind of growing on him, but it is slow, you know, and everybody wants to speak to everybody and sit there and hold you up for a minute, talking to you. I said, Oh, that's southern for you. That's the south. Uh, it's, the south's starting to lose some of that though. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a sudden hospitality starting to kind of fade away. Yeah. But anyway, so they show clips. Hey, you got all that? <laughs> oh, so. It was hard to do on that. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm looking at my piece of paper. So anyway, they show clips uh and Latrice. Clips of Latrice and Cliff. Clips of Latrice and Cliffs. Whatever. 
cliff this season as far as them you know um and the baby situation or whatever and latrice said right now no she still don't want to have a baby and carlos was like you know what that's okay you know what i'm saying if that's what you don't want to do cliff is okay with it he was like you know maybe later on but right now she just kind of want to focus on her and i'm um, if she do fine if she don't fine i'm here with her and carlos was like you know i don't understand that when people feel like they get married then or in a long-term relationship then somebody saying we ain't having a baby i don't agree with that either let folks live in their marriage but it ain't like they just got married but yeah so she said no nah, she's not yeah. she's not doing it right she, now. she's gonna hold off because you know first of all she feel like her and, and, and glenn not glenn but her and cliff they're not in a good spot right now they're not yeah. in a good space well they still got a lot of issues they got to work on so yeah yeah it's like just be honest with it and also um carlos asked the question how do you feel about your mom saying that you know cliff was like a father figure to you like you know yeah go ahead baby. no yeah, cliff said, you know uh well you know i'm a good father figure or something like that he said he's trying to make a little joke about it oh yeah so um latrice and glenn talk in the back room in their dressing room or whatever and, yeah i'm gonna be i'm gonna be a better man i need you to be a good man blah 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 child i'm surprised you because ne next dog. season he'll probably be doing the same thing so let's move on to what carlos brings out so gucci girls um and was saying jj girls so they sit down and they have a conversation and they're talking about you know the clips of the colorism that took place you know when the conversation was said and he asked them how's their sister relationship and they said well you know it's better but it's still not like sister you know what i'm saying yeah. it's still not the same yeah they still have a lot of issues you know they're cordial and that's probably the best they probably get right now because uh they feel it well carlos acts uh d that's a okay that's a so gucci daughter he asked d did she feel like did she feel like uh colorism was the kind of the root of the tension between the sisters and mm -hmm. she, she she said yeah and and you know i think what Carlos was trying to say or he was trying to convey is that what he noticed in jackson mississippi is like colorism sticks out with them you know what i'm saying even on the cast members called maria when she, they was talking about it, she said something about don't trust nobody don't trust nobody with, with light yeah, eyes yeah. yeah yeah um the also it seems as though the late the girls were saying you know have they you know noticed colorism and they said they had not in their sisterhood not with them their sisters but, but they yeah have noticed that they do have some privilege having um a lighter skin 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 tone and so gucci blamed herself for not teaching her daughter to say that you know you are beautiful no matter what skin color you are and i was saying well i ain't want her to blame herself because she may not have known that there was an issue with her daughter because i'm quite sure if she knew that was an issue that was something she would have addressed yeah you know i understand what she was trying to do but it's not like i said it's not with the door it's with society mm -hmm. the way society have us brainwashed when it comes to colorism within within our own race you know uh you know lighter is, is better you know white is right you know and even when you see light-skinned people compared to dark-skinned people man you know i think every shade in our race is beautiful oh, man yeah. you know what i'm saying i don't care if you're on the dark side or the light side Star Wars reference, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, it, it's sad, but that's how how it is, man. We gotta do better, man. We gotta do better. But um, and then at the end, he was just asking where everybody was as far as the updates, what they're doing, what's their next venture, what's their next thing they got going on, and they all listed theirs. But I did want to say this that Marie said that you know she still is not losing hope for her mom that. You know her mom will come get help and stuff so i guess she's still you know probably in the streets and stuff like well, that camera five i ain't got my shooting i got my hat camera five come on camera five production stop for marie mom on that on that scene you don't see what i'm talking about no scene you don't see what i'm talking about no scene. <laughs> stop it it's the third time y'all did that y'all know what y'all trying to do they ain't funny stop it On that note, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. We're going to do it off camera.
<laughs> on that note, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank y'all so much for rocking with us on Bell Collective. We will see y'all probably, y'all. I don't know, honey. <laughs> we may see we, y'all. We will time. see y'all next season when Bell Collectors come back. Yes, we will. Get okay. these views up and we'll see. Because yeah. if not, we may well, not. Bell Collective has a, has a small slice. I, to me personally, it does, it, it, it does it would do better than... Uh, it does, yeah. It does better than uh, some of the other shows. DC, Love and Marriage DC, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. When it comes to views, you know. I enjoyed this better than DC. Yeah, I, I, I did too. So, but we will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. I was put God first. Deuces. Hey. I was put God first.